Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Video Secrets. Today I will be talking to our customer success expert, Johnny, on his best video scribe shortcuts. Hi Johnny and thanks for joining us. My first question to you is what is your best video scribe shortcut? Hi Alicia. So one of my favourite little tricks is actually using copy and paste. So if you've got a piece of text for example, which you've set up with a specific font and colour, and maybe you've added a drop shadow like this. Then the quickest way to create a second piece of text with all the same formatting options is to simply copy and paste the original. So if I copy this now, I then need to select the position on the timeline where I want the copy to appear and then click on paste. So you can see that the copy has been placed exactly on top of the original here. So another useful tip is to use the arrow keys on your keyboard to reposition the new element. This is especially useful if you want it to be in line with the original, like in this case. So we can then go into Properties to edit the text for the new element. And the other useful thing is that the new text will be exactly the same size as the original. That's great, thanks Johnny. My next question is, can you copy elements from one scribe to another scribe? Yes, absolutely. So you might have created your own template scribes where you keep sets of elements that you tend to reuse in several projects. So let's say we want to copy these elements here into another scribe. So first let's select all the elements we need and then copy them. So now let's exit this scribe and here's my other project where I want to use them. So again the first thing we want to do is select the position in the timeline where we want them to appear and then click paste. And you can see that they've all been added in here at this point in the timeline. However on the canvas they're going to appear in the same position where they were in the original scribe. So in most cases you'll need to reposition them so they're in the correct position for the scribe you're working on. And again you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to do this. It's a good idea to do this just after you've pasted them in because then they'll still all be highlighted like this. And the last thing you'll need to do is to reset the camera for these elements. So we can use these controls here to shift the canvas and to zoom in or out if we need to. So we can get to the correct view for these elements. And then because they're still all selected, we can reset the camera for all of them like this. Amazing, thanks for that Johnny and I can't wait to try out these features in VideoScribe.